Hey everyone, Son of Beast here, and I'm Wood Spoonie, and this is NBA 2K24 on 2K Sports. Hey folks, it's Son of Beast and Boomer here. That's right now, if you're looking for Wood Spoonie, he's on his way right down in Mile High, as his next game is about to be heading underway for the Seasons of Giving. That is correct, as we are about to be seeing this next matchup, we're about to see the one of the bestest teams in the Western Conference. It's the OKC Thunders, facing on against a mile high against the Denver Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets are the best teams in the Western Conference, and they definitely beat out the Miami Heat, part of the last finals of the edition. And for this game of the 2K Sports, they beat against the Boston Celtics, a better comeback rally to have it all down. Now, this is what we are all looking for. Nikola Jokic, he might be going for two this time if he can get another one for the MVP Finals. Because it might be a great thing that we would love to see how it comes out. And at this point, we have the starting lineups as we start up by Jay Gilgorgix Alexander, Josh Giddy, Lujan Stork, Jalen Williams, and Chet Holmgren. On the other side of the Denver Nuggets, we have is Jamal Murray, Kendavious Carpwell Pope, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, and the Joker of Nikola Jokic. Now let's go head down in to the Mile High, as right now in the Ball Arena, where Terry Crews is standing by, along with Wood Spoonie, and the third commentator of the group. We might have it all in time to find out who it is, and there might be one solution that's going to have it all down. And that means we have another way to just show it off what we all learn for. And this is where I'm going to see what I go for next. Who are you going for? Well, I might be going for a light bulb instead. Well, <laughs> alright then. Well, just do for your best on your own. And now let's get you down covered here in Ball Arena. And then the halftime show will be Shag and Kenny the Jet Smith. We'll be back with the post-game show after the fourth quarter is finished. Yep, that is totally right. And we'll see you all later in just a bit. See you all in the post-game show. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome to Mile High. As right now, this is our courtesy for the next game. Okay, C Funders and Denver Nuggets. I'm Terry Cruz, and I'm here with, along with Wood Spoonie and Lightball, and David Eldridge is on the sideline too. The courtesy of this lineup is being here as follows we have as one of them. Shady Lodish Alexander is with Jamal Murray. Down across from here is Josh Kitty on Contavious Carwell Pope. Porter Jr. on Door. Williams is on Aaron Gordon. And Chad Grant on Nikola Jokic. The starting key player matchups is Jamal Murray and Shea Delgorgic's Alexander. This is one of my best players here of uh, one of the uh, point guarding positions. These are uh, fantastic. It's a great thing to say, but they are really are good players. Right in between the bound, and I've got a good feeling about them. They're going to get this one done right away. Well, I guess I'm ready to see what this is all about. So I'm really excited to see what it is right now. So it's going to be a great matchup. Let's get to the point. All killed and ready to go with Santa by Gatorade on a starting drive for Aaron Gordon. Had that one two hands slammed down. They are loving this guy player to elevate the motion. His offense got a lot of great stuff in this game though. I know that Aaron Gordon is like a big pro. He's amazing. And as of right now, the Saturday night win had put up against the win against Dallas. They've done a lot much better than they had done it before. They did the best as they could. Yeah, it's, it's tough to say to advise that one here. I just really have to tell you. They're not really, like, importantable. But as you can tell that one here, this is a lot of us. courtesy, but they're just trying to make you feel like you're all good here. They're playing it really well and just hard enough to take over this. Jamal Murray makes the drive. Count the bucket in one. The first foul is called on OKC Funders. Gilbert's Alexander with his first personal foul. Mike Malone is the head coach as they have definitely made a win with the finals of the Denver Nuggets. They are the best team in the Western Conference and they're looking forward to do this one again. Will they have to do it here for this year, for next year? Well, I'm not even entirely sure if these teams are going to have a lot of their responses. 
they know they've won, but I'm not even entirely sure how they're going to get there, because this is going to be a lot that challenging to get it done through. Hmm, I'm not sure this will be happening like that. Uh, let's keep that one a side note of the track, because they, you never know, because Denver Nuggets are definitely a good team. And a good try puts up here for Williams. That'll be his first bucket. And Giddy with the assist. It's always a great pass when you give it off to Giddy at Foss. That's what's all against been given out. Here's Porter Jr. now on door. Deeper, right over the other side by Jokic. He lost the ball, and you go to John Sander with the first turn. Try to take the Giddy. Take the inbound. Got a good stop. Holmgren for three. He doesn't get this time. And another rebound puts up in. No good on the shot. Jokic trying again to Porter Jr. He looks it back over to again to Jokic. 5 13 left remaining in the uh, first period. Gilgory Alexander stops around. They have definitely made that win here before, and they've won against the OKC Fighters since October of 19. This was a great thing to have that courage down. They've done the best. Yeah, I have to tell you now, because this was really a tough one, and everybody's been going for it. You can't just really say that this is a very great time uh, as well. To make the mention by them, and they were really feeling like, yeah, this is what they all say. Denver Duggins are best teams in the nation. Holmgren now getting the door. Porter Jr. on the cover. Try to take the steal. Holmgren over again on Jokic. To make the door. Rolling in and out. And pull it back in with the drive. And this one goes in reverse layup. It's now an 8-7 to seven lead. Cut up by front with a first, first lead. And now Jamal Murray gives it over to Porter Jr. He finds it to Aaron Gordon. Looks back to Jamal Murray. Tries to make a switch move. Give it back to Porter Jr. Now looks again at Carwell Pope. Shoots over Giddy. That shot goes in. Contagious Carwell Pope with the first bucket. The last game that was happened here, this was a devastation loss against the Sacramento Kings. They were not really impressing of what they were going for because this was turning out very that bad. That the doll that definitely didn't help it to make the pick up and win it. What do you think of this happen right now? Well, I'm not really in sure if this was going to ever happen to be a push-off right, but this was really going to be a hard choice. I don't know what this will count for, but maybe they might find a different way. Right. After a throwdown by Porter Jr., here's the number two, takes it over, leaves it out, and that'll be still OKC's ball with 3.18 to go. Josh Giddy is checked out. And a new player comes in for Maymick. Jokic is checked out as now the new player is coming in to make a switch with Aaron Gordon. And now it's Braun and Najee with the with takeover on the court. He finds Gilbert Alexander, now finds Mimic. Here's another range. Takes out the home grand and a slam two-hand jam down. That goes to Mimic with his first to six. Now they are just going all over this. They just do not want to appear this. Here's Jamal. Oh, that's two dunks in a row. That is going to be a slam takedown. No way on earth that Jamal Murray might have a slam it ever again to have it all encounter. They are just going right on their target. The foul put the bucket in one for Jogurdix Alexander. Rob with his first personal foul. And his first team foul comes up from Denver. 2.20.48 to go as the Gordix Alexander at the free throw line shooting two. Now with a new switch off for the OKC Finders as two players are checked out. Williams and Wiggins are checked in. The Nuggets are also making new changes here as Murray's checked out and Watson and Jackson are checked in. First trip to the free throw line will be Gilbertus Alexander for OKC Funders with 2.48 to go. It's the free throw. Here's Jackson with 2.45 left to go. He passes down to Watson. Looks down to Jackson. Now on the outside is Cardwell Pope. He gets on to Watson. Trying to go for the screen for Najee. 
Over again. Najee with the cut inbound. It's good. Has the first two pointer of the game. And a good pass by Watson. Now, I never noted that Najee was going to like able to take his own, right, his own sight. But just can't just get away with that one yet because they're really all over us. They're trying to make that one feel like they're all in move motion. They really are trying to make that one feel good. And that strength is a tough one and you can take it. Good stop, Miss. Right now, Williams with a good rejection of the game. Only two minutes remaining in the first quarter of the period. Looks it over with a two. And it takes a good rebound for Najee. Najee has his first rebound and Braun outside. Give it over. He finds Jackson in the corner for three. Hit off the rim and it goes off forward by Williams. You're never going to get that easier if you're going to make the three pointer work because that is tough and you can't just make him go with it. Three pointer connects the range for Gagornis Alexander. And Jackson back the air away as he has it now with under 90 seconds to remain in the first period. He now gives off to Watson. Bounce pass, looks to Jackson, and it's to Gorgeous Alexander with the steal. Here's the fast break, Williams for three. Rebound of the That's another miss for the OKC Thunders. Najee, give off to Watson. The two pointer ring is good. Watson with his first bucket. And with the putback score, it's down by seven, by three. Off to Mimic. Screen on Williams. Reject by Najee. That's his first rejection. Pulling away on a good top run. You never know that Najee was going to limit it up. You just got to like take him over and swat him away. That's a big block. Right now the new players are checking in as Corbo Pope is checked out. A new player comes in for Stroffer. Gagorjic's in the center. On Stroffer with the fade back. Two pointer misses. Najee with the better rebound. Now give off to Braun. Here now to Watson. Gagorjic's Alexander with another turnover. Takes that one with an angle break and move. Got that one an eye on the camera. Well, it don't really be because he was like pulling in motion out there. Now I have to decide that he's getting that good. Stroffer gives off to Braun. Here's Snarchy inside. The range is good. Now puts up another two-point bucket score for Najee. Down to 13 seconds. In the first period. Now in 10 seconds. And Gordix Alexander with the cutting motion. Take the two-man ball drive. Schaffer going half court. Way out of range. And that will end the first quarter. 22 to 19 is on the start for the OKC Thunders. Looking to get more. We'll be right back with you after quarter one completion. Quarter two is coming up after the break. And we're about to start for the second period of the quarter. 22-19 is a close call to beat right on the key lineups. Now let me tell you this. Denver Nuggets are really the top priority and make that one all alone. They're the number one seed in the Western Conference. They've always been showing it like they always did. But how are they good? Let's let the man one of the answers know. Well, in that case, they are really a good team because they are really like beating them out over and under. This was everyone's favorite idea to go with their strength. They're trying to leave up with the group. This is a hard one to maintain it, and I'm going to tell you now that Jokic and their players wants to do it over and over again. They've got a lot that hard one to take. And it's all for Jokic. He has that with a layup drive, and now he's back down by one. You can just make him feel good. Good T, but he has that one back as the number two pointer comes in. This is not how this way it goes because they really are playing a lot of rebounds here. Wide open look. You don't want to make that defensive breakdown. If you're already into the mood, you can't get away with that. Warren Jr. passes down to Murray. Here's a three for Aaron Gordon. Jokic comes in for the rebound. Murray outside for three. Swoosh in! A cash flow money in! Ties it up by 24. They're just making them feel like they're on the flow jam. They're doing it again. Block the pass. Order Jr. still covering on him. Looks with the look. 
Brown settle down with a D. Nice job for Porter Jr. That's what everybody's talking about because they're really saying Porter Jr. He's really all into his mood. But just can't get away with that. They're all into this. We have a reporter for Ali LaForce. He talked to one of his uh, players here, and this is what everyone was calling him. And this was all in hands. As for Mike Malone and their team, they're really on a tough, strong start. Because they're a little bit of loss in the first period. They're going to come back in the switch. But they're trying to do this one again to go over and under. Not really a tough one if you can't take over it. But this was nothing that they wanted to do. I know this was hot, but don't kick it away with this. They really are pressuring it. And go over from the strike for Mike Malone. They're trying to make that one helpful to go with their help on runs. Open look, Porter Jr. Free outside the range. Now extends the run. It's five. It's 99 to 24 is the score. Timeout call by OKC Thunder to 4.3 left to go in the first half of the period. That's what the stock goes stronger. But they really are making that one feel like they're on to live it again. Now let's say that this was tough team. I know this one's going to be a long run, but who do you think will be the next one to make the playoffs in here, guys? Well, I'm pretty sure there might be one way to get this one all strength out. I don't know if this will be a, a good, uh, tough score to make the releasement, but they really are trying to make that one feel like this is like very impossible enough. They just try to like make that one maintain it. All they can do is like just try to keep it all away from each other, and it's not really like an easier way to do this. We don't want this one to go bad or terrifying with the run. We don't want that one to make that one feel like they are in to this game. And they wanted to make sure of it, that they wanted to make step it out for everybody's game. And for the reason is, they wanted to find out who's going to make the next playoffs inbound. I might see, it might be the same team, or it might be a different team, because we really are sure, not sure who's going to like, take it all with a bunch of wins, and this is going to be a hard one to make a challenge again for. I agree, but all that cases, let's find out how they do. New substitute changes right now for the OKC Finders. As right now, they're making another two changes. Looking in for the Western Conference standings, it's going to be a close call to make the range. And this is an update in November, and now this might be another change-off matchup. Looking for a chance to take it over and under again. Williams tries to go deep and rejected by Erwin Gordon. That's his first block in the game. No way you can't do. You will make that one feel like this is like an obsolete. Hey, he's strong. I can't say that Aaron Gordon's like well enough. Carl well put. Now find Porter Jr. Five seconds on the shot clock. Free for Murray. In the arc. Find Jokic. Fade the shot. Goes back over now to Carwell Pope. Murray in the corner. Well, she's inbound. Right around him. And it's good in the mark. Jamal Murray with 10 points. Under four minutes remaining. It's a 31 24 game. Giddy on his way down, looks up, and scoop the drive airborne. That will be another bucket for OKC Funders. They're trying to make that one feel strong than ever. Well, it's just very hard enough now because Josh Giddy was a skip on the line that's like a high flyer like Eric Jordan does. Well, well Pope fighting now to Jokic. And that will be out of luck. That will be a three second call on Jokic. And the turnover releases for OKC Funders. Here's how they did with the lead free throws in this game. Funders only had 86.1. Not the best thing in the world that they're just not going to finish at all. And that's strong thing. It's the mighty one. But they're going to like try to like need to regroup this over and under again. They might be a lot tougher than you think. But they may not be enough to go with that on the lookout. If you're going over this... They might have to fix it up a little more. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this might be a little tougher than you think. But don't be unclearable. This might be enough time to just do for another free press. They might have another foul to give. Here's Murray with the counting bounce and scores in the drive range. 12 points and Porter Jr. with the assist. 
If you enjoy the NBA in-season tournament, it is already over. I just really have to tell you that everybody's loving it. When I go over this, I look at the play score and says, wait a minute, I just saw somebody going over. Oh, that is a big slam down for Chris CP. Now this was everyone's for a crowd's favorite, do the dunk. Now, like I just said here before, they, this was going to be a, like a lot of change up if they wanted to do this one again. How do you think this was going to happen with uh, how they were seeing it before? Like an eight-season tournament, this is like amazing. I just really spot it on and I looked it over again and said like, wait, that's the team that they're going in for. Well, I'm just pretty sure, but they are they're really on to an unstoppable run. I just can't really tell you. They are really impressive that they're really enjoying their feelings. This was all the coverage that I was ever absolutely trying to look at it before. They are just getting over this and trying to defend it. They're doing it a lot much harder, and I just did not even notice. They just bangled it out. It's a great epic stronghold to make the comeback switch. They've done the best. Well, as of right now, they have a good protection here. Aaron Gordon here has already been lifting his muscle on. Just getting a good right now to do a lot of this separate way. I've just never seen it, what was going to happen like this. But at this point, 37 28 is the score. They are on fire. Looking it over again, I can't even tell how much they were doing. While it's absolutely incredible to make that one feel very tough, the most important thing is just rearing it hard enough to just try to like leave it open. But no worries, they're like all over it and they want to do it again. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by Ryan, your local Kia dealers. The moment that inspires. Starry Lines. And by American Express. Don't live life without it. We're under two minutes remaining as right now OKC has the possession and Mamek on his way down. Step back with the elbow. That misses again. Frankie Jackson pulling up with his first rebound of the night as they are pulling a P. Porter Jr. passes down to Gordon. Looks down, finding Mike Braun. Looks down to Jokic. Up with the two. Good D, as Williams has it covered up with another strong defense. Now, I was not really seeing that Williams was really that tough guy on that center, but you just did not really think that nobody has that one perfect. I just don't have anything else to say, but this is really that tough, and nobody is trying to like slow him down for a reason. They're just making that one feel like they're already involved gapper. They just did not really think that this is a tough key to get in. Porter Jr. finding again on Jackson. Looks down to Braun. Bounce pass to Gordon. Right around the two. It's good! Eric Gordon with six points. Coming up with an extension run by nine. Just under a minute remaining in the first half. With a screen on Williams. With a two. Trying to put a step in bound. Wiggins backs it up. Tries to look it over, and Wiggins had that one tricky shot. For the, uh, for the let it go moment, it just went in. Not really everybody is looking over this again. They're trying to like keep it out of here. No questions asked. They really are trying to make that one feel like they're, they're on a full stage. Here's Jackson on the outside, now gives off to Braun. Jackson, and the screen comes in for Jokic. Counts the screen, can he get it? Rebound, picks up, Jokic takes it over! That's his second and sixth of the game of his rebound. He now has six. A third bucket of the eye. That's what everybody was saying. Joker, you roll on. And a shot, and it comes down, and it's a foul on Jokic. Just 2.8 seconds, and our team foul for Denver. They just need that one to make that one quiet and still. I never seen what was gonna happen like that. They just is not how it goes. They are throwing another free throw percentage to the free throw line, shooting two for the OKC Funders.
First free throw sent it in for Nidek. And now coming back in, we have it all coming down here as Josh Giddy is checked out. And right now it's Wallace. New changeup for the number Nuggets as right now there are four players checked out. And four players checked in. Strawford and Najee are checked in for Jokic and Gordon. Second free throw is good. And right now, they're out of time. To go deep. And that will end the second quarter. That turns to be a great run. 41-34 is the score. Let's go down to Ali LaForce as we will be back with the third quarter. Ali. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm here alongside Coach Malone and Coach a strong first half for this team. What was clicking for you? I love that ball movement. Taking care of the ball, and that's something we've been harping on. Make a play for somebody else. And I thought we had many examples of that. Got to help yourself. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Thank you so much, Allie. Folks, See you folks later for the start of the second half of the period. The 2K, 2K Sports, Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Jamal Murray has been the story in this he had 12 points, 3 assists, and 1 steal. This has been a bounce-back game for him after some struggles there last time out. Shaq, let's get your take on Denver. They're going to work in the paint. They want a great job. Good portion of their offense was generated inside. Really outperformed their opponent in that. I expect the defense to pack it in a little more in the second half and try to force the to stay outside. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Oklahoma City? The effort hasn't been there to the be at all. They're getting outworked in that part of the game. But you've got to be more physical to turn this thing around. I don't know if they have the personnel to do that. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody. With Kevin Hart. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And welcome back at Mile High, as right now we're starting the third quarter on the draw, and we are ready to see who's going to take the next one. We go for Shigurdix Alexander. He has 14. He smoked on the first period, but all it turns out with the second period just coming by. In hot hands, the quick release been, he's been doing great. Hey, just can't get away with that one here. Don't forget my main guy here. He's already on the powering forward on his starting guard position. It's going to be a hard one to take it off. I know they're all calling for Shady Bones Alexander. And now he has 16 this time. I can't tell you how it is. They're just going to make that one feel like they're all good to go. The starting group has appeared, fueled up by Gatorade, full fueled and ready to go. As we have a report from Ali LaForce, he definitely talked to one of the head coaches here for the OKC Funders this time. He had made that one a lot of a hard transition to go work in between the runs. The scoring trout after a loss against the OK Orlando Magic. They really are just trying to make that one feel that they are already been going underneath the rim. The basket's not really helpful enough. But to tell you that, this was a hard one, but they are trying to get away with this. But this was no joke. But they are trying to go from the play screen right from here. Well, I must tell you now, because they were really like trying to make that force fall out of it, but they can't just like get back to this. All that goes with, they're just trying to make that one feel like they are not even comfortable with that one. They're trying to make that one feel like that they're all over this. And that's not what the team does. They're trying to make that one feel like they want to win. Warrior Jr. with the cutting now, in reverse driving scoop, and my Porter Jr. gets seven points. That's a biggest drive motion out there. Oh yes, there is. They're just going like a pro. Now Williams finds Hilgren. Up at the two. Nice D by Jokic. Jokic has got his eighth rebound of the night. And this 43.9 rebounding percentage for the Nuggets. Now that's a crazy lift to go in their offense. And every season they're just trying to go at beach games. I never knew it was going to happen like that. But just to tell you this. We're trying to make that one feel good. Two-pointer up and makes it in for Aaron Gordon. That's another two-point bucket score. He's got eight. 
OKC trailing by 11. You now find Holmgren. The door. On the outside on Porter Jr. Now find Holmgren over and out of Giddy. Just find the shoot. Got a man. Take away over as his car will up over the rebound. They're just not getting up that easily. They're just getting hot contest shot angles. And all because of Che Gurdich Alexander, he's never afraid to try to like slow him down. Where did you now find Murray? Gives it past to Carwell Pope. Shoots over Giddy. Hit off the rim, another miss by Denver. They're just trying to make that one feel like they're wanting to go over this again. They want to get that shot right away, but that's not how it's happening. Fade away shot goes in for Giddy. And it's now coming back down here just by 11. Now he gives the pass. Bounce pass to Gordon. Looks it over by Porter Jr. They're down by nine. Murray finding again to Carwell Pope. With a shoot around, touch shot releases as Carwell Pope receives the number two. That six points in the game. They are really frustrating this. All over this, you can't make them feel how they're gonna work. Door, trying to look it over. Give a pass to Gil Gorgic's Alexander. Three second call is on Denver. I'm sorry, the OKC Thunders, and Denver will have possession. The Ever Games are coming up here just soon. December 8th is right down here with the Warriors. Then 11th with the Jazz, and the 14th will be on with the Sacramento Kings. Murray has stolen, and it's taking over by Shagu Gordis Alexander. Here he comes. Step back by Joe. Gives it back to Gilgorix Alexander. Looks it over on a shot. Good stop here. He would have got called the foul, but this was no over there that he was trying to make that one feel like he is more aggressive. But the possibilities are endless. Murray now finding again the Porter Jr. He moves back to Carmel Pope. Looks down to Murray to Porter Jr. He does it again. That's another scoop and drive to finish the arc. His offense has gotten great. That skill has been pulling it over and pushing pace and down. Now number two goes in for Williams. It's a 51-40 game. Murray finding again on Carvel Pope. Gives it back again to Murray and now over again to Braun. Looks over. for Juno on the outside. Checks in down for Braun. Three-pointer misses off the mark. Just a show, and now with only under two minutes remaining, he goes it back to Williams to give Gordon to Alexander. Screen on Williams. Murray watch again. On ground on Gordon with the fadeaway. Good shot contested made as right now Gordon made that stop. Hey, uh, he's pretty like he's a demon to make that specializing how he's improving. The special teams are really improving at all. I just can't really tell that this is a very good guy. Ah uh, well, Pope find Porter Jr. He gives off to Aaron Gordon. Shot ranging too short. We're under 90 seconds to remain in the third quarter. Williams trying to give off to Joe Gordon's Alexander. Here he goes, and a shot goes off the bound. Gordon receives his first. That'll be another team foul for the Denver Nuggets. As now, the next free throw comes in for OKC Funders. You're never going to make that one clean. You don't want to get that one feel out of your sight because it does happen and you're going to get crushed by it. He is the first free throw. With a new substitution, as three players are checked off the court for the OKC Thunders, and new three players come on the court. Les Williams, Wiggins, and Wallace are checked in. The Denver Nuggets are also making new changes here as four players are out. Four players check in. Strawford, Jackson, Watson, and Najee. They will get the second free throw. Here's Jackson. He passed now to Strawford. 
Wants to give it off to Jackson, but decides to deliver it to Watson. Looks out to Stroffer. Passing over. Good aggressive on a good Gurdjieff Alexander. Finds a lift. Dodgy on a wide open look. Range is out of sight. Wiggins with the rebound. Passes now to Wallace. Wallace on a look. Tough shot. No foul called on OKC. No shot. Sorry about that one here. <laughs> Got a little confusion out there. Yeah, it's okay. No foul call on Denver Nuggets as now gets off the Schaffer. Looks inbound. And he made that one clear. He had second bucket of the night. Strauffer already been showing it as like he was able to do it on his own. I can't really tell him that he's already like on the full pressure. Wallace now finds go Gilbert Alexander and he goes, oh, he's on the high flying mound. It's not what you want to do. You can't get rid of the player for good of Shaken Gorgeous Alexander. He's like already on a high flying muscle inbound. That's a lot of heavy breakdown on the offense. Stropper give up to Braun. Down to three seconds. Watson from the middle. And it's off the rim. That ends the third quarter. A 53-46 run. This might be the last one to call for all. And we'll be right back with you after this break. Let's have a moment for Mike Malone. We have to make a stand defensively, fellas, okay? We're not going to be able to score the whole night. we got to get defense into the game. A defensive setup. Mike Malone is always a help out their team. They just nearly need to make that one a lot of changes. This offense really can't get enough pressure out there, but they wanted to get away with that. Yeah, it's pretty easy to say that, and this was a hard one he gets. Watson just made the three-pointer, and he just got there in time. Are you kidding me? This was, like, amazing. Watch that one again. You see that footstep, that foul, and just made that shot. Wow, unbelievable. I've never seen how this guy does. He's been shooting like crazy. After he makes a bucket, it's a foul called for a number one on OKC Funders. Just one shot for Watson. He's already like a big stinger. He just wanted to like pick a little bit of wrist and he just had that flow. Go air and go high down. And he makes that free throw. You always can't get rid of this one here because you know that Watson, he's like a full pressure. That is how you do. Your air ball gets good. Screen on and over again for Williams. Wallace missed a two-pointer. Najee with the ball, now on his way on the other side. Now gives off to Schaffer. He gives over to Najee. In the bail, take it away from here. Najee has his six points of the game. Looking good in the comfortable game, right towards the second period and the third period, along with other quarters. They're just making them feel like they want to do this for all at once. Home grand fine toward. On the inside, and stopped good by Jokic. And, but the putback will be put in for Dort. Just under five, six minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, and Jackson finds again to Watson. Shopper tries to give it over again to Jackson. Jackson moves over to Shopper. Passes to Watson. Looks over to two. Looks high above the ground. It's another miss for Denver. 5.30 remaining. Dort tries to go over it again. Williams backsteps it on Chopper. And Mimic will have it outside. In release for McGinney. And got away with this. This is another huge layup drive. There are just a lot of defensive recovery. And they're trying to like get the pressure out of here. We can't leave that group behind. Now the foul's been... Now the timeout's been called by Denver Nuggets. With 519 remaining. And they are just trying to get back into the point. It's tough now. Nobody has the choice. They just really need to get this thing right away. It's tough one and you know it. And let me tell you this one here. This is a lot that hard happening here. They're just trying to make that one feel like they're already on a good capture moment. They're making that one feel good. 
but not really everybody's uh, favorite player that goes with it, Mountain, that they're going for a franchise record. If Jokic and a team wants to give it, prove their win, they've got to improve them. While it's possible enough, they're really a, in a good strength at the, in, a, in a point setup, but this score is not really going to be a light, very challenging to do this one at all. Remember that the challenge just goes from here with the final challenge in this contest? This really is showing us like there is no way that you can't just really like take them over and that. They really are trying to make that look clear. This offense got a lot that hard. The tricky setup motion is not going to be like everybody's idea. We would like to do that, but I don't think this will ever happen like this. It's going to be a very hard one to make that pick to go with our motion offensiveness. And we're not going to probably never know what's going to happen. It might be a lot tough than you may never know. Yeah, I must say, this is going to be a, like a challenge run, but it's a great way for Denver Nuggets there on the push and bounce. Corey Jr. now finds again the guard wall boom. 505 remaining as now Murray has it over. Stepping back, Murray on a big try. 16 points in this game. Beating it over to try to stop on good Alexander. Alexander. Here's another one for OKC Thunders. Watson, the drive, stuck, and it takes it over as Porter Jr. gives it back to Jokic. Looks down at Carwell Pope. Looks down at Jokic. Looks down at Jamal Murray for three. Three pointers off the mark. Range and a good target look, but it's off the angle. Not really a good enough to take that one away from it. Giddy with the screen on Dallas Holmgren. Now find Mimi with the shot on a driving cross break, and it's stopped again by Aaron Gordon. Takes it over by Williams. He finishes another one, takes it away big. They're back down by seven. Here's Murray trying to figure it over to Gordon. On the back outside, Carwell Pope, bounce pass to Jokic. Takes it over, good stop on Holgren. Oh man, the defense is getting there that straight. Not really what they're epic for, but they really been going over. Two pointer, and he gets it back. They're just pushing P, and they want to get a close game this time. Not really everybody's favorite idea. He can't just be the mark on it. He finds Garbaugh Boat, finds the Jokic, around the move, takes it over it, inside out. Jokic with an eight points this game, with 3.15 left to remain. 63 to 54 is the score, trying to look it over again. They're trailing by nine. Step back move, oh, you just never know how to do that. That's a narrow one for a minute. It's a great set to look for the cross behind angle, and he just want to like make that tricky one come in. He now finds Porter Jr. Bounce pass to Jokic. Looks it over, over Mimic, shot. Ball gets out to release, and Mimic with the foul. That will be his first personal, second team foul on OKC. Just 2.44 to go, and Jokic at the free throw line shooting two. He never made it a free throw before, but he really wants it. Denver are making another free throw in the range on the outside, as Jokic will have two shots on his game career. Hits the first free throw. Now with a new substitution, as Gilgorgix Alexander will check in for Mimic. There's a lot of happening with the changes out there. They're just really like, he wants that one all. He just really wanted to make that one feel like he's on the best player on the court. He just really wanted to do for whatever MVP title, for sure. And a second free throw comes in for Jokic. Here's the Gordix Alexander, only 20 points in the game, looking for more. With that big middle, oh, he just got an open room in the middle. Had another slam dunk down, that's 22. No, there's no way. I just do not believe. I don't trust the fear for Gilgrix Alexander, but this was all it does happen. Three pointer from Jamal Murray, way downtown. Timeout call by OKC. With 2.17 to go, a 68 58 run, a 10 point lead for the Nuggets.
They're all just making them feel good. It's a range and they're off on its best offensive ever. They're looking it over and they want to do it more. Last split, making the place in between as they're going to be another one to make a change out of it. They need some a little bit of a little, little play up inbound. We go right in between for the regular season of this matchup. I had to do a lot of much changing if they wanted to go for it again. Well, it might be a one-way option. I might have to say this was a lot that hard when you go with your setup and your screen and your pickoff look and the uh, pick and roll moments, the playthroughs, the series setups. And it's a lot of like hard encouragement. I, I must tell you this, it's very uh, intense what they're going for. They really want to do it all. I never saw it, what everybody does for their games in their lives. They just really wanted to do it, like it's a real scenario to go with their pick and balance once more. They want this, and they want to do it all. And now we present your New Balance Player of the Game for the season of Given, and a player of inbounding all to Jamal Murray. He's always a point guard position, you can't just say he's that good, but he's always making three pointers. Outside mark, it's a great pass to give it off to Najee and teammates from here. It's a great setup when you know for Jamal Murray, it's everyone's favorite player in point guard position. All rise for him, he does it for all. The best that he can. And Gilgoris will have that inbound. Try to move in middle. Good stop, and now this one is over for a street limit. Looking for more, Porter Jr. on the outside. We are down to two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Jamal Murray, find a pass to Carball Pope. Looks it now to Murray. Over Gilgoris to Alexander. Two pointer comes in, and it's now a rebound for Jokic. There's a lot of great helping heroes in need. When you just need that one right away, you just gotta like rebound it at all. Looks again, try to go with the arc. Hey off the rim, and it goes out of bounds. That goes the OKC ball. He's going to try to like, he wants to beat the points by Shady Good Boy to Alexander. He's like already on a big move. Well, it's a lot of tough operation of this uh, motion. It's not the biggest game, you just don't want to take over this. Do it with the ball. Jokic with the block. Gordon on his way down, finding Porter Jr. Taking this finish, and he will have it in with the backboard. Porter Jr. with 11 points, and Jokic with the assist. They're just lifting it off that big. I never know that Porter Jr. could get that to do it down. Dort fires away, makes the switch, swept it carry, and they're back down again to pick up another run down by 11. Bypass! Here's another one for the offensive breakdown runs, and this one stops in for Jamal Murray. Gordon, give it back to Jokic. Looks now to Carwell Poe. Just really wanted to do some little crossover motion. Could do it this time. Nothing on the momentum, and he is missing too many of them. Well, that's it. Just give it to another player. They can handle this. Jokic with an hour rebound. Another miss by OKC Funders. Carwell Pope letting a clock wind down. Jamal Murray with a step back. And it will be the end for him. Gilbert yeah, Alexander, last possession for the OKC Funders. With a three. No good. And that will do it. Denver Nuggets destroy the OKC Thunders on a 70 to 61 game. This is an epic battle range to have it all out. They just can't just get away with this. They just want to have it all. And that's where you know their team does it again. That's what happens. Mile high is the best city to go to. Now with a close spin call, let's go to Ali LaForce for the player of the game. Who do you have, Ali? All right, thank you, Nicola. This team showed up tonight defensively. What can you say about the effort on that end of the floor? Well, I mean, uh, it's a whole collective. You know, it's a, 
you know, just one guy is a five guys on the floor. And so it's a coach, it's a bench, it's a fan. So thank you, thank you guys. Thank you a lot. Thanks to all. Thanks to you, Nicola. Back to you guys. Thank you, Ali. As for right now, Terry Crews, along with Wit Spoonie and Lapo, this has been a presentation of the NBA 2K Sports. Thanks for watching, and see you all again for the next game. Adios, everyone. Good night at Mile High. Terry, thank you so much. As this time, it is a best to be everybody's favorite. It all has to be Denver on a surprising run, but they are really turning the best. Yes, this is like a dream coming to true wishing. They were just making that one feel like they really wanted to get this one done straight away. Pull it back and then do it all over again. They were really like a best team in the Western Conference right now. They really have been doing the best. I can't tell you how much they loved it. They really done, done the best. Here's how you did with the total combination with the team comparison. Field goal percentage was 60 and 33 free pointers for the Denver Nuggets. Five free throws in between for the OKC Funders, but no foul was going to be even for Denver Nuggets if there was another foul call on the OKC Funders. Four fast break points for Denver Nuggets. Points in the paint was 54. Second chance points was 12. Went bench points was 16 for Denver Nuggets. And 28 for the assist two. And the offensive rebounds was 11 for OKC Funders. And 23 rebounds for the Denver Nuggets, 7 steals for the OKC, and 5 blocks. Got a great stoppable switch. Do it all over again from Jokic, from Aaron Gordon, and from Najee. They were just going back to back strings away. Turnovers was only 3 for OKC Funders. Both guys have 3 team fouls and 4 dunks in a row. 13 biggest lead of the night was Denver Nuggets, and 15 20 was their time of possession. For the Nuggets. I'm just telling you, they are really that good. And you can't just stop them. They want to show how they got to do that one. And maybe that is a true thing. They might be just switching it back down. They're just going to like, like pull it in there. Wham! Smash it! They're just going to make that one feel like they're all good enough again. And you know that's not a beast? Because that's what everybody does for life. Yeah, I know. A lot of defense. Can't get away with that. Let's start off with the three star players of the game. We start with you, Bomar. Thank you so much. As right now, we start off that big. You can't just make that one feel like a mistakeable how well he has done. Che Gregorius Alexander got 22 points, four, two rebounds, one assist, and four steals. He's already, like, taken away from each other. They only had 25% of this performance and three dunks remained. With nine out of 15 field goals and one three percentage, he just made that one feel good. A lot of courtesy in between. This is not how it goes. But you're just like making that one feel like he wants to pressure this all alone. I can't really tell you how good is he, but just can't get away with that. Now to you, Son of Beast. All right, thank you so much. Michael Porter Jr. with 11 points, 6 rebounds, and th five, 3 assists turned like a fire run that he does. One dunk performance. Three pointer was one, and five field goals was remained. Did excellent when he can. And Boomer, your number one pick. That goes to New Balance Player of the Game. All stands for point guard positions player favorite, Jamal Murray. 19 points, two rebounds, five assists, one steal, eight out of 14 field goals, two out of five three pointers. Might just say he wants to beat on Shea Gorix Alexander, but just can't get away with that one either. Dirty performance run and one dunk performed. He's like a superstar player. Looking to get back in the All-Star if he can get there. Well, I guess he might. And that will do for the fourth game of the NBA. I hope you enjoyed this one. And this was a fun matchup over the seasons of giving. For the next game, we will stay tuned for our next put right between for the hedges as we see the Cavaliers and the Kings on their New Year's night on Saturday. That will be the next one to be staying tuned. So if you're ready to take the next one before the New Year, we've got our next one to come in by. And there is, might be a one change off that you want to just try to look it over again and try to keep out the run in sight. That might be one way to try to stop for another. Along with me and Boomer, this has been a presentation 
of the NBA 2K Sports of 24. Thanks for watching and hope we'll see you again very soon with our next game. Peace out everybody. For a while that's the NBA 2K24 dial. This is Sonic Beast. You can follow me on my social media. I'm on Instagram, X, and TikTok. Link to my about page. And please make sure to subscribe to this channel. If you don't, somebody will. Good night and mile high everybody. And see you all again very next game. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.